Hello Capricorn, I hope you are doing well. Happy weekend to you. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. If you want a personal reading from me, you can just email me directly. My email address will be below this video. So Capis, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn, for Capricorn's highest good peace. You must be show us what's coming up for Capis in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for Capis in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Ooh, you're deciding not to take action towards your soulmate at this time. You're not taking action even though you want to. Yeah, you're stopping yourself from reaching out. You feel you're too vulnerable emotionally in this relationship. You feel like you need to guard your heart. That's because you love them a lot. But because, now it's making sense why this is showing up. But because you don't feel they're meeting you halfway in this relationship, you feel you are vulnerable, too vulnerable emotionally. You see, you feel they not meeting you in the middle on this relationship. You love this person a lot. You feel enormous connection with them emotionally, spiritually. You're not reaching out though. Yeah. This is you protecting yourself, guarding yourself, trying to figure out, trying to make sense of these deep, intense feelings you feel for your soulmate. Yeah. You're not telling them how you feel right now. This is you trying to process all that you are feeling guarding your heart protecting your heart yeah wow you're very attracted to this person very drawn to them view them as wise attractive independent let's see you you really love this person yeah you know what we show us what's coming up for cappies and how is capricorn currently doing on their summit journey You're waiting. You're waiting patiently to see if your feelings kind of dissolve, but you're realizing it's not happening. You still feel very intense emotions, feelings for this person. Um, my goodness, this is a heavy connection. Yeah, but you're not happy right now. You're not, you don't feel happy. You don't feel emotionally fulfilled. You feel like you miss them. You feel like they belong back in your life. But something is making you hesitate. Yeah, you are extremely guarded with your heart in this relationship. Yeah, you're not taking action right now. You're not taking action. <clears throat> yeah, you two are so connected from past lifetimes. Many lifetimes showing up here. Wow, you wish that the two of you could meet each other halfway in this relationship. You view them as attractive, independent, strong-willed. You're kind of disappointed that they're not reaching out to you. Maybe you told them it's over, or maybe you gave them cold shoulder. But this was a serious relationship. You see, this speaks of very serious relationship. Yeah, a lot of confusion, a lot of misunderstanding in this relationship, a lot of unanswered questions, problems with communication. So it looks like the two of you broke up before, got back together, broke up, got back together. And you worry that if you get back together, that it's going to break up again. You don't want to repeat the same behavior. You want something solid or nothing at all. Interesting. Let's see. <clears throat> Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappies and how are Cappies 
currently doing on their soulmate journey. Yeah, you see, this is how you view this relationship based on your experience with this person, on your past and recent past. You feel that when the two of you get along, it's like bliss, heaven on earth, like it's perfect relationship for you. But when you don't get along, you feel the opposite of that. You see the two of you falling off this. This is symbolic, of course, falling off this wheel of fortune. Like it's really bad. When it's bad, it's bad. Yeah, like you, you're trying to figure out, will the two ever find middle zone in this relationship? That's what you want. You want something that is balanced you want balanced relationship wow yeah you see look how much you admire this person uh very attracted to them drawn to them you in love with this person here it is but it's unspoken love hidden love you're not telling them how much you love them at this time what it is you want what you're feeling what you're thinking what you're planning this is like a secret you holding look how much respect you really want this person back in your life yeah you want this person back in your life so that means the two of you are not together let's see wow cappies at least you know who you want right yeah that's so important that you know who you want in life you know, we show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies that Cappies have been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Cappies towards Cappies at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies? Ooh. So this was a relationship of... Uh, many breakups, yeah. Um, they recognize that this has been a relationship that's been extremely challenging. Breakups, getting back together, uh, kind of no commitment, uh, huh? Non-committal, yeah. They so guarded emotionally. They feel that for some reason they feel that. You kind of hesitant, like you're not sure what you want in this relationship. That's what they think, that maybe you change your mind. One minute you think you want this relationship, next minute you don't. That's what they think. And this is them being extremely guarded towards you emotionally, really wanting to communicate but not reaching out at this particular time. They're so stressed out about this situation because they still love you. Yeah. Yeah, they feel like some major decision will need to be made soon, uh, sooner than later, because here's a pocket watch. Some of you are letting go of another Capricorn, Libra, Virgo, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Oh, they in love with you, Capis. This person loves you deeply, but is not expressing it. Yeah, this is them holding inside how they really feel. Yeah, they feel that uh, confused. They feel very confused because they don't know what it is you're thinking, feeling, or planning. Yeah, it's like they, wow, heartbreak is showing up here. One, two, three, three swords. They feel so sad that this did not work out. I'm sorry both of you are going through so much. This is them reminiscing of you, thinking of you, missing you. Yeah. This is them trying to figure out, is it too late or can they come over and fix this? This is them trying to figure that out. This was a serious connection relationship between you two. Here a friend is showing up here, very serious relationship. Look how much respect they have for you, viewing you as empress in their life. So even though they clearly recognize that this relationship came with many emotional highs and lows, a lot of tower moments, a lot of confusion, misunderstandings. They feel that you are the person for them. They never felt such intense connection with anyone like they feel with you emotionally and spiritually. 
Yeah, you are important to this person. Yeah, look, you guys are so connected from past lifetimes. The star healing showing up here. Wow, heavy, heavy connection that it's hard to let go of by both of you, right? Let's see. It was to show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies. Yeah, again, you see, they in love with you. This is them feeling like they never had such intense relationship or connection with anyone like they feel with you. Oof. So you guys had some serious breakups in the past. You see, for this to show up means something heavy happened in this relationship where the two of you disconnected from each other. Yeah, for this to show up. Yeah, breakups getting back together, breakups getting back together. They, they feel hurt. They feel sad. Yeah, you see? So here it is this energy and then lovers with the snake serpent underneath so this was um, a breakup over something serious yeah something very serious there was good reason for this breakup to happen wow there's such a thing as good reason meaning it was a valid reason for this breakup to happen yeah they recognize that uh-huh we're going to go into your extended reading, Cappies. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also a new soulmate popping up in your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. Are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask, what are they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Cappies, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you then. Love you guys.